Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends. And today we are going to show you some of the Muslim logic and Muhammad logic and Allah logic, which is nothing to do with logic. You know, yesterday we showed you, I mean, I don't know, like when Muslim they watch my videos, I don't know what they are watching exactly. Are they really watching or they are, I mean, maybe the audio was a mute in your side? Because when I see the Muslims respond to what I say in the videos, I start wondering right away if those people are even listening. Here is an example. <clears throat> Yesterday we were talking about destiny and how Allah He made destiny for you if you want to be good or bad. He is the one who decide before He created you that you are going to do bad or you will do good. And we showed from Muhammad's stories, which Muhammad mentioned, how even Adam himself, you know, you cannot blame Adam for the sin he committed because simply he commit no sin. It's Allah who forced him to commit sin. Allah he wrote for him in uh, b before he created him 40 years before he created me created him that he have to commit sin and then we see this Muslim here saying Mr. C as Harry and by the way he look Asian so I don't know what make you as Harry as Harry is somebody from Al Azhar in, in Egypt this is an a, a you know and and this is a name like i mean uh, name of the companions of exist in the time of islam what make you as hurry you don't even know you have nothing to do with the arab but anyway you don't even know what as hurry mean the answer the answer for what for if allah knows the future why he does test us he tests us so we can choose the outcome of our future destiny. How you say our future destiny? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how you you know how you put the word together, destiny and uh, uh, the outcome and the future, and how you would the word choose with destiny? I believe strongly that Muslims didn't listen. Most of them. I will take your statement and I will apply it on what your prophet said because either you are out of the line and you have nothing to do with Islam or your prophet is out of the line and he got Islam wrong and that's possible because Muhammad obviously he had nothing to do with Islam right I mean Muslim they say uh, ISIS is not Muslims and obviously Muhammad is not Muslim too because he is the one he is the founder of ISIS here it says <coughs> Uh, Moses and Adam they are debating and we know the story when they will repeat over and over but for those who did it first time according to Muhammad Adam and Moses they met how they met don't ask me Muhammad is very good in history as I know that Adam is the first man and uh, uh, Moses there are thousands of years after this Adam who is the first man so how Adam and Moses they met that is not a question you ask to Muhammad so Adam and Moses they argue with each other Moses says to Adam oh Adam you are the one you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise so Moses obviously saying to Adam because of your stupid mistake because you commit sin because you earned the the, the anger of God you are out of heaven then Adam said to him oh Moses Allah favored you with his talk and he wrote the Torah for you with his own hands. Do you blame me for an action which Allah written in my fate 40 years before my creation? Now, this is a debate by two. And then maybe Adam is wrong. Maybe Moses is wrong. But Muhammad, he decide who is wrong and who is right. So Muhammad, he said, so Adam refuted Moses. And he repeat that three times as usual. Muhammad, he have a mental issue with the three time thing is a Muslim they say we are not people who believe in Trinity but Muhammad he says salam alaikum three time to wash hands you have to do it three time you know to do ablution your nose I mean everything three time so 
Here you see that Adam, he said to Moses, and this is Sahih Hadith, as you see, this is Sahih Bukhari. So don't tell me the game of weak and we don't accept it and, you know, the garbage you come with. So, Muhammad, he assured us that Adam, he did not choose to commit sin. It's a decreed. It's a fate. It's a decision which Allah, he made. And because Allah decided for him to be a sinner, and he wrote for him exactly what sin he will do. So Adam, he did commit that sin, which is of necessity to do. Do you blame me for doing a deed which God, which means Allah, he translating the word Allah as God, uh, had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created, I should do. He, it's not like a choice, maybe, maybe not, that I should do. Do you know how to read? That I should do 40 years before he created. I should do. I must do. So when you come to us and you say you know, such a statement, that is really funny. And this is telling us that maybe 99.9, like the election in the Middle East as usual, if they have election, like 9.99999 vote for uh, uh, Husni Mubarak. 9.9999 they vote yes to Saddam Hussein. Yeah. So are you blaming me so question if this is a prophet listen Muslim they believe that Adam is a prophet so if Allah he treat a prophet and force him to commit sin and this is how he treat a prophet so what about you if you remember once I asked a Muslim about this story here he said Allah he needed Adam to commit sin so Adam will ask Allah for forgiveness. And actually he mentioned the word victim. Allah, he needed a victim. You can search the video and you can't find it. Allah, he needed a victim. So since Allah, he needed a victim and he cannot be the let us say the good Muslim, uh, you know, I mean, um, you cannot be good. Uh, Allah, he needed, you, he needed you to be bad. There, there is different hadith, just to show you the, the, how, how, how funny this religion is. <clears throat> Let me find it. Obviously, Muhammad is not a stable man. And this is why the Muslims are very confused. Abu Huraira, he said, and this is Sahih Hadith again, that, uh, that the Prophet said, again, this is not a Christian prince saying, this is not a Christian prince saying. He said, if you were not Swearing by Allah, the one who have my soul in his hand, were you not to commit sins, Allah would replace you with people who commit sin and then seek forgiveness from Allah. And then he would forgive them. The translation here actually is not too much accurate. Let us see a different one. It says he will weep, he will sweep you out of existence. Not only he will replace you. What replace you? He will sweep you out of existence. He will destroy you. Look, they are translating he will he will, he will remove you. You know. Just to show you how translation changed the whole story. Translators are liars. 
by him. This is Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 2749. By him whose hand is my, li is my life, in his hand my life. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence and he would replace you. By who? By people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. Here you notice that Islam is based on stupidity. What Muhammad is saying to us that his God is the kind of God he is lonely and he is bored. And that explains why in the Quran, Muhammad he said, speaking that Allah told him that he created the human and the genie for one purpose to worship only. He liked people to worship him. That's it. This is the purpose. You created just to worship him. وَمَا خَلَقْتَ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Chapter 51, verse number 56. So Muhammad here is being consistent with the Quran that the reason he created you is just to ask for forgiveness and pray for Allah so Allah will forgive you and okay, you are fine. Allah enjoy it. Allah, he like it. If you don't commit sin, Allah is upset. Because simply, you are not doing the purpose of your existence. What is the purpose? If you don't commit sin, why you are going to ask, please, big, you know, you beg God for forgiveness. You commit no sin. So sin, sin, is a necessity for you to exist. And those who write in Arabic, I see somebody, he said, Yesu uh, huwa uh, ibn Allah. My friends, stop saying that word. Jesus have nothing to do with Allah. Arab Christians, stop using that word. I mean, how Allah is the pagan god of Islam, and then you still in the Middle East using the word Allah. How you keep saying to people that the god of Islam have nothing to do with my god, and you say he is Allah. What's wrong with you? Slave of ISIS, they slaved you 1400 years ago, and until now, you still your slaves. They're slaves. They force you to use that word, and until now, you use it. Going back to our topic, Muhammad he said in different place. They said to him, Prophet, who go to heaven? Who go to heaven? He said, whoever obeys me. He goes to heaven. How is that? Whoever obeys me, he goes to heaven. Well, that's mean Muhammad, the keys of heaven in the hand of Muhammad. The keys of heaven in the hand of Muhammad. How we say the word God in Arabic? We have a million words. Actually, nothing in Arabic, there's nothing that's called Arabic word for God. Those all are Aramaic. Rabbi, Rabb, you know, uh, Ilahi, etc. Those are not Arabic. Ar Arabic is not even a language. Arabic is a, is a collection of languages. And there's nothing called Arab. You see, when we say Arab, I say Arab. Arab is not an ethnic. Many naive people think that Arab are an ethnic. That is a stupid thing to believe. When the Bible speak about the Arabian or Arabia, that is the desert. The word Arab in Aramaic language mean desert. The Arabian is the desert people. Aram is the one who live in high hills. This is, this is not about ethnic, all right? It's about where people live. So whoever live in certain area, they call them Arab. So if you live in Arizona, in the time of the Aramaic, you are an Arab because you live in the desert. So going back to our topic, whoever obey me go to heaven. But how that work? <laughs> 
If Muhammad, he just insisted that even Adam, he commits sin because God, he made him commit sin. So what your obedience would do? Do you understand what I'm saying? If I have to commit sin, and my sin will decide where I will go. If you remember the hadith we mentioned before, for those who have a short memory. That Muhammad, he said, <clears throat> by him beside whom there is no God. Supposedly this is Allah. Hmm. He said, the one among you act like the people of deserving paradise enter between him and paradise there is a remain but a distance of a cubit you are almost there when suddenly the writing of destiny overcome him and then he began begins to act like the the distance of or the distance of uh, uh, those who enter hell and he enter hell hmm. but he just said the one who obey me he go to heaven But in the other hand, he said, if you do the work of people who enter heaven, which means you, you are obeying Muhammad, let us say you are one of those, now this case here for you, you obey Muhammad all your life. You attack the Christians, you attack the Jews, you attack the Hindus, you know, you do jihad, you beat your wife as according to Allah teaching, Alhamdulillah, you know, uh, marry children, all this is good manner in Islam. You know, that's funny when, 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 uh, when Zakir Naik speak about good manner, I mean, what was good manner in Islam? Beat your wife? have four wives good manner in Islam to the wife is to feed her as you know people they feed their dogs that is a good manner if you fear that your wife she will maybe thinking about or let us say she have a tone of she don't like what you said to her beat her that is the good manner the good manner, if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, spit in his face, as your prophet said. Force him to the most narrow alley. The good manner. So here there is a person, he do practice the good manner of Allah. And this is one of the good manner of Allah. The Prophet of Allah, he said, when you see somebody in the road and he is a Christian or a Jew, don't let him go in the road. Block the road for him and force him to walk in the sewage. Do you see the good manner? Good manner? Right? Uh, you know the one who uses Sam Shamoon name. You can you can post your comment, no problem. But I will ban you from the chat because you are using Sam Shamoon. Get lost. You know those who use a name of somebody else. I mean, aren't you a man enough to have your own nickname or whatever to use it? Why you want to use the name of somebody else? This person, he said, that Paul is an antichrist. You stupid idiot. In your Islamic books, Paul is a messenger of Allah. And I can show you the reference right now. This is why I say Muslims are a bunch of ignorant. They call themselves Muslims, but they are not Muslims. And they're proven in front of you. So you are practicing good manner. You spit at the Christians, you force them to walk in the sewage, you humiliate them, you steal their money, you kidnap their women. That is a good manner in Islam, as you see. This is the order of the Prophet. And this is coming from the Quran, chapter 9, verse 29. They have to pay the jizya with humiliation. This is a good manner. Okay. Now you practice good manner. Where that will take us? <laughs> According to the hadith, you are going nowhere. Because at the end of the day, as you see, the one among you act like the people of deserving paradise. 
This is the good manner, you know, hurting the Christians, beating your wife, marrying children. So this is a good Islamic manner. Go into the mosque, you know, curse people, may Allah uh, 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 freeze their blood, you know, all the evil stuff Muhammad taught you. That is a good manner. And then he says, the one among you act like people who go to paradise. So now you practice the, you are obeying Muhammad. And then at the end of the day, it says, and then suddenly the writing of destiny overcome him and began to act like the, the people of hell. And he entered hell. So what this guy is talking about? Any Muslim can tell me what this madman is talking about? How if you obey Allah and you obey me and if you obey me and yes, etc. And some hadith he says, if you say Allahu Akbar, etc. time. If you say inshallah 100 times, you go to heaven. I mean, it's stupid things. And then you say, and then you say, <laughs> what is written will take over. We have a Muslim saying CP is debating himself. I don't know what does that mean, my friend. You want to call me to debate me? I will. I will take your call. Actually, you know what? Let me open my pal talk. Maybe there is a Muslim. He have something to say. That will be will add some spice to this madness. If you are a Muslim and you think you have an answer for the contradictions in Muhammad teaching and how silly it is. Feel free to call me. Let us see, we have some text. Let us see if they are online. <clears throat> okay, this one is offline. <clears throat> well, I don't see any Muslim online those are texts from before if you are a Muslim and you'd like to call me please feel free I would like I will be happy to have you and I will I will talk to you nicely don't worry any Muslim do we have any Mohammedan Anyone? No answer. You know, uh, a Muslim, he was saying in the chat, a uh, Christian prince, why you are a ridiculous man? I mean, who is a stupid here? I am the ridiculous. Or the one who says to you, you pray five times, you do hajj, you do jihad, and then at the end of the day, all of this is garbage. It's what Allah he wrote for you, will decide where you go. And then you say to me, you are ridiculous. Who is ridiculous? How you promise me if I pray, if I do jihad, if I die for the sake of Allah, if, 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 and then at the end of the day, you say to me this. Look at this poor Muslim. This is the words of Muhammad. He spent his life obeying Muhammad to go to heaven. He's almost there. And then what is written by Allah will take over. So what the point? Hmm? Uh, you know, P uh, Peter, the funny, you are a Muslim and you call yourself Peter. But let me talk about what you just said. You know, one of the signs of disability, and here this ability of the brain. Smile, uh, Sarah. We took a selfie for you. Just to show you how you are disabled, and this is why you are just being, you know, silly. Bully. Are you trying to be bully? You cannot bully me. You are following a bully prophet, I understand, but you cannot bully Christian Prince. You said to me, keep barking. I mean, do you know that even your prophet last name is dogs? Do you know that? 
Muhammad ibn Kilab. This is the last name of your prophet. Dogs, not dog. So don't talk about barking. Do you know that Allah, he have a dog, and if you don't believe in him, he will eat you? Do you know or you don't? I mean, have you ever heard of a God, he have a dog? How you Muslim believe that dogs are dirty and Allah will take your deed away if you have a dog? And then we find that Allah himself, he have a dog. Let us see, maybe we have a Muslim. <laughs> yes. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, we do hear you. Go ahead. You are live on air. So I just wanted to say your uh, actually your religion is stupid. Is as equally stupid as Islam. All right. Oh, so you are an atheist? No, a Muslim. You are a Muslim, but you just said uh, uh, my religion is as stupid as Islam. I don't know. I heard you saying that. Yes, because you too you believe that uh, people will go to hell. But you said you are a Muslim. Yes. So Muslim don't believe that there is hell. Yes, there is. I don't, but I, in a Christianity, there my, is also. My friend, I don't understand you. You just say that Islam is a stupid too. Yes. Okay. It's equally so, as stupid. So, as, uh, so how you it, are a Muslim and you say Islam is a stupid? Explain that to me. Well, because you say Islam stupid, then Christianity is stupid too. No, my friend. And we have to I don't. I don't want you to stupid. say to me because you said this because I want your opinion. Do you think Islam is a stupid? Yes, and Christianity too. Okay, so you believe Islam is a stupid? Can you explain to me why Islam is a stupid? Because, like Christianity, they believe if people were born in the the wrong culture, they'll mm. go to hell. Okay, so when you say you are a Muslim, which book do you follow? The Quran. Okay, but you believe in the Quran. What do you mean you believe I can touch it? It's a physical book. I, I'm saying, do you believe in the Quran? What does this have to do with physical book or not? Do you believe in it or not? It's a book. You, do you believe in what is written in the Quran? Not 100%, no. And do you do you believe 100% what's written in the Bible and the New Testament? Yes, I believe 100, 1 million percent. Now listen. So, so how you call yourself? Uh, how you call yourself a Muslim? How you call yourself a Muslim? Are you are you mentally ill? How you call yourself Muslim? And then you say you don't believe in the Quran. And a second ago you said to me, I believe in the Quran. Either you believe or you don't believe. Do you believe or you don't? I don't believe hundred percent, and I call. I can call myself okay, how, whatever I want. No. Okay. How many? What 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 is the percentage of the Quran you believe in? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't calculate that. Five uh, percent. I didn't calculate. I said. Can so you, can can you, you answer my? Can question? you name for me a chapter you agree with in the Quran? No. You cannot name for me one chapter you agree with in the Quran. I don't know the chapter names. Why should I go now and then? Okay. And why I have I questions for you? And why I want to talk to a donkey like you? I don't know what. What are you talking about? Get lost. What kind of a Muslim this Muslim is? I guarantee you, you've been spanked by your mommy before you call me, and you are angry, and you don't know what to say. I don't believe in it. I don't care. I don't believe in the Quran, you know. But I'm a Muslim. I mean, what is that? What kind of hashish you are talking? Taking? Who is a Muslim is willing to call us and explain the stupidity and the contradiction? How if we obey Allah, we go to heaven, and then? You believe in destiny that you act all your life to go to heaven and then what is written by Allah <laughs> will take over. How you can, you know, how you can fix this? Any Muhammadan? How we can match them together? How Muhammad he say if you say inshallah etc time or a hundred time you go to heaven how you say the one who say subhanallah one hundred time he go to heaven 
and his sin is forgiven. And then you say, oh, it's, a, it's not what you say, it's not what you do. It's what Allah wrote for you. Even if there is a distance between you and heaven, one cubit, this is almost, you are there. This is almost there, like you are dying, maybe. Look at Muhammad. Allah Messenger said, the one who says Subhanallah wa Bismillah 100 times, his sin will be forgiven and he will go to heaven even if the sin was more than the form of the sea. If, 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 if. All of this will happen because he said Subhanallah wa Alhamdulillah. So now I will, you know, I will, I will hang up on you guys. I will be busy for 15, for the coming five minutes saying, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, Bismillah, Subhanallah, Bismillah, 100 times, brother. Everything I said about Muhammad and Islam is gone. I mean, do you see how, how flexible this religion? I will go sleep with 10,000 women. Uh, by the end of the day, I will come. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah. Hmm? Any Muslim have a logic for this garbage? This is the good manner in Islam, subhanallah, alhamdulillah. So I can do whatever I want, and then I say, subhanallah, alhamdulillah. Bismillah, subhanallah. So what we will do with the other garbage? How you say that there is a destiny and Allah he wrote for your destiny and then you say by two words you say Allah destiny is destroyed. Oh yeah, as one of you is mentioning that Muhammad he said that if you touch the, yeah, the 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 black stone and the Yemeni corner stones, Allah sorry the stones erase your sin. I mean, what is that? Any Muslim can put things together. I'm getting dizzy. How we can put it together? This is a prophet of God talking. Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? <sighs> what is that? Any Muhammadan? Hmm. Any Abdul? So what we notice that the Muslims, when they try to ref or to answer, we find that this ability and they didn't know what they are talking about and they are mixing things upside down uh, I don't know any Muhammadan? you know somebody he said about the destiny topic in the previous comment he says I would ask the same question or this question to the Hebrew and the Christians God about what about uh, destiny you see my friend the Bible mentioned the word destiny but our destiny is not the word destiny here is not about God decide to you where to go the only destiny we have in Christianity that's either you go to heaven or you go to hell and you choose where to go so we have a form of destiny because God gave you two choices that can that we can say this is out of our control, out of our hand. This is God's decision. That is a destiny. There's two direction. 
But where to go is your decision. He is not going to decide for you where to go. He will be the judge for you. As a judge, yes. But in order to be judge, you have to commit a crime. A judge will not judge you for a crime you did not do. So we don't believe in such a thing. Like somebody will say to you that God, he knew, he chose his people and his people, but you forgot that God, he says too, that I know my sheep and my sheep, they knew me. The same he chose you, you chose him. So how he chose us, he came to us. He created trillion of creatures. But he chose that this creature is the one who will be in his heaven. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. So yes, he chose. And the world here, talking about us, the mankind. Otherwise, all the other world will be destroyed. So God, he chose us. But yet, if you don't choose him, you don't belong to him. So you have you are free. A Muslim, he was making fun of Jesus, and he said, and here you notice, by the way, sometimes Christians, they answer with no, you know, with no knowledge. So if Jesus uh, 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 knew he was going to be crucified, why he cried like little girl on the cross? And I said to him, I, you know, thank you for talking about little girl. Do you mean like Aisha or something? Jesus did not cry in the cross. He was quoting the Old Testament and how he would be crucified. It's a prophecy about him. But as long you are a person who specializes with little girls crying, maybe you can explain to us how it feel to be six years old girl in the bed of 54 years old evil man. And one of the funny things, by the way, the Muslim, they lie to us and they say, we respect Jesus. They don't. And as long as you mention Jesus' crucifixion, let us show you another stupid form of destiny in Islam. Guys, do you remember what Allah he did to Jesus according to Islam? Do you remember? According to Islam, Allah he put someone look like Jesus in the cross. And obviously, this is a preset destiny planned. It's not something happened, you know. As long as Allah, he destiny that the Jews are going to kill Jesus. <laughs> so, so why you made them you want to kill Jesus so you can save Jesus? I mean, you are the one who made them go after Jesus to kill him. And now you want to save Jesus from them. I mean, how stupid this story is. Are we following? I will make you carry a gun. I am Allah. And I will make you shoot at Jesus. And then I will hide Jesus. And I will make someone look like Jesus. So you shoot the fake Jesus. What is that story, man? So the Jews, when they go after Jesus, according to Islam, it was a destiny. So what is this? What is that? Any Muslim can answer us? As long as you believe in destiny, well, that means it's destiny that somebody will be in the cross. It was destiny that the Jews will go after Jesus. And it was destiny that Jesus will be saved from the Jews. Okay, wonderful. But what this story is about, this is stupid. That means there is a God. His name is Allah. He is the one doing all the things. And the Jews are victims. And, 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 and the Messiah himself is a victim. Because why you want to send him of everything? Nobody chosen anything. Nobody chose. The one who chose to follow Jesus, it was a destiny. The one who chose to follow, not to follow Jesus, it was a destiny, which means nobody chose anything. Do you see the stupidity? Right?
destiny. And look here, if you if you read this verse carefully, by the way, this verse alone is, you know, every verse in the Quran is a stupid to the point can destroy the whole religion. I mean, if somebody, his name is Allah, he made someone appear to them look like Jesus. So why the Christian believe in Jesus to be crucified? The, the fault of Allah, Allah, he deceived us. <laughs> Even this one is a destiny. When Allah, he put someone in the cross, look like Jesus exactly. He have the face of Jesus, the voice of Jesus, the eyes of Jesus. And even his mother was there and she did not notice that this is not Jesus. And all the Jews who knew Jesus, nobody noticed that this is not Jesus. And then the Jews, they say, we killed him. For sure we killed him. What are you talking about? We were there. And then Allah, he said to them, Brother Zetar, the Jews are to be people. And they told they killed Jesus. But the fact Allah, he tricked them. And Allah, he replaced Jesus. And he put someone, he said, Jesus made it from silicon. Uh, Zachary, what? He put thick Jesus, he made it from silicon. Have you ever heard of the Silicon Valley? Yeah, the Silicon Valley, what does this have to do with? Exactly. So Allah, he made someone look like Jesus, made it from silicon. And they put him in the cross. Huh? Allah, he made someone look like Jesus, they put him in the cross. Exactly. So the Jews, they crucified the silicon Jesus. And the Jews until now they think they killed Jesus? Until now. It was silicon Jesus. That's mean Allah he did fool us and he made us Christians. Because if we don't believe in Jesus crucifixion, Christianity, what you know, I mean this is this is a major thing in Christianity that Christ was crucified. When we say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Silicon Jesus? <sighs> yeah, scientific miracle of the Quran cloning. Allah, he cloned Jesus. And then Allah, he blamed us for believing that Jesus was at the cross. Christian, you are stupid. Why do you believe that Jesus is in the cross? You idiot. It's you who made us believe in it. Don't you see what you just said? Why Allah, he upset that we Christian believe that Jesus was crucified when he is the one who deceived us? And you know, a cloning, a cloning Islam is an, is an, you know, is a big problem. You know, the cloning thing in Islam is a big problem. If you remember uh, that Jibreel, he come to Muhammad in the image of Dahya al Kalbi. Do you remember the hadith? Look like it's something normal in Islam that the cloning practice is, is a must. Allah is out of images. So, Dahya al Kalbi is a boyfriend of Muhammad. He used to spend the whole night with him, and he was very handsome. Let us see. How Jibreel used to come to Muhammad? Read carefully. I did not know him more than any man among you. That was Jibreel. Peace be upon him who come down in the form of Dahya al Kalbi. Sahih. So now we have two Dahil Kalbi in town. We have Dahil Kalbi, the real one, and we have the fake one. Identity theft. Question. 
do you really believe that an angel of God he take a look of somebody who live in town or this is Muhammad he is trying to explain why this man he come late at night to him which is nothing that sounds very fishy so now anyone he see the Hil Kalbi come into Muhammad at 1 a.m. in the morning he will say okay maybe this is Jibreel <laughs> If you are my neighbor and I am, let us say, okay, hold on, let me find someone to, uh, from the internet uh, to be my, uh, uh, my, my uh, girlfriend. Hmm. Temporarily marriage, temporarily marriage, you know. Let us say I want to do temporarily marriage according to Allah. Hmm? And then... <clears throat> Okay, let's choose a, a, a picture with no with no face. So, okay, here we go. This is Jibreel. Hey, CP, yesterday I saw a woman. She is coming to your door. And, you know, I mean, she is like maybe 25, 26 years old. You know, you know, you know, she was wearing uh, sport shoes, white shirt, you know. Uh, what she is doing there at this time? Oh, I forgot the brother to tell you. This is Jibreel. Jibreel, peace upon him. He come to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but as I know, this is look like the daughter of the guy I know. Is it? This is her. Oh, he look like her. Yes, exactly, brother. But this is not her. It's a. It's Jibreel. I swear by Allah. <laughs> What a story, the cloning God. I'm really convinced. I'm truly, truly, truly convinced. I mean, you did beat me with this answer. I mean, that must be real. It might, you cannot deny this. This must be true. Jibreel, he come to him in the image of Dahiel Kalbi. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Anyone use bad language, we will ban you from the chat. Be careful. Anyone use a bad language, we will ban you from the chat. You are welcome to chat. You want to call me, you can call me if you are a Muslim. But don't use bad language. And by the way, when you use bad language, YouTube don't allow it. You, you Maybe you see it yourself in the chat, but it's not appearing. Me as an admin, I can see it. The rest cannot see it. You are, you are being silly now. Um, do we have a do we have any Abdul? Give CP your money. Oh, uh, uh, Peter, the Muslim. Uh, don't talk about money, my friend. Let us see what your prophet said about money. Do you know that your prophet he exchanged a corner in the heaven with the guy because he promised him heaven? <laughs> <laughs> Who of you have a farm? Who of you has a farm? If you have a farm, you can give it to Muhammad and Prophet Muhammad, he will promise you a corner lot in the heaven. Let me show you the hadith so we can laugh. I will give you a palm tree in heaven if you give me your farm. What? What you will give me? <laughs> Let me see if I can find the hadith. Just give me a second. Um... 
<laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> okay. Talk about money. Fooling a poor guy, taking his farm. Oh boy. Let us see where is Abu Dahda. Ya Umma Dahda. I'm just trying to find the hate in English. Oh, I can't find it in English. However, we have to use then a Google translation piece upon him. There is a verse in the Quran, the chapter of iron. It says, Man This is the same chapter or verse. Mimi Hijab, he made, he said, after his debate with, me, with, with David Wood. He went, who is going to lend Allah alone? Give Allah alone. And then they said, there's more than a hundred, whatever thousands leaving Islam a year, brothers and sisters. And we are the one who stand against us. So please make a donation, sister, brother. Give Allah alone. And you can find this story here in the Quran. So what happened? How you can give Allah alone? Very simple. You give Muhammad money. You give him your farm. Or maybe even you give him your wife. It's the same. If she is good looking for sure. Otherwise, Allah will not accept your donation. If you give him money, Muhammad, he promised you a corner lot in the heaven. He will give you a palm tree in heaven for the whole farm. You give him the whole farm, he'll give you one palm tree in heaven. What do you want? Hmm? This is this is this is Islam. This is yeah. This is you talk about money. What kind of God? He need a mortgage, and the mortgage who will take it? Muhammad. Now, if we go here in the Hadith, it says, uh, that the Prophet he said, who is going to give Allah a loan? Abu Dahda, he said, Oh, Allah, he want a loan from us? Muhammad, he said, Yes, Abu Dahda. Show me your hand, Prophet of Allah. So the man, the Muhammad, he show uh, his hand uh, to him. And then he said to him, I will give you my farm. And this farm have 600 palm tree. And inside it, my wife and the children's, which means take them all. <laughs> Actually, later he says to her, get out because we gave the farm to Muhammad. Okay, and what is the return? What is the return? Ya Ummad Dahdah, Ukhruji min al Hayat, Fakad Bi'tuhu bin Akhlafi Jannah. Go out of my farm because I sold it for an exchange of a palm tree in heaven. Let us use Google Translation. Let us see if we can use it and see if it's going to work. Give me a second. We have a, we have a, a Muslim calling maybe. Okay. Let us see. Maybe this Muslim will say something useful. Assalamualaikum, Christian Prince. Salam, how are you, my friend? I'm good, alhamdulillah. Uh, how are you? I'm all right. So what do you want to say to us? You're listening to the topic. You're live on air, as you know. Yes, I'm live on air. Uh, first of all, I want to say I'm not a Muslim. Um, you are not a I'm Muslim? I'm an ex-Muslim now. No, I'm, ex I'm an ex-Muslim for like, uh, yeah, not, all, not that long ago, to be honest. Okay. Um, and I'm calling just because I've written down some answers, some questions. Um, maybe I'll take some time of you if you don't mind the question about what because we have a topic as uh, you see yeah i understand that's why i'm asking maybe i'm gonna take some time of you uh yeah it's my first question is is, is about uh uh first in the bible that i don't understand 
Okay. Uh, I got some other questions about Islam uh, yeah. that I still have some doubts with. So it's all up to you if you say so, call me another time no, or no, we'll call no, you another no time. Problem, but let me ask you. So you say they still have a doubt. About, so are you a Muslim now or not a Muslim? No, I'm an ex-Muslim. Okay, I'm not but, a Muslim. But you said Islam, which you have a doubt about. So are you? Are, did you confirm that Islam is false? Muhammad <laughs> is a false prophet or not? Yes. Okay. Yes, I so confirm. What was your What is your question about the Bible? We answer it. No problem. When we take a break from the topic. Um, thank you very much, Christian Prince. Um, one thing that I still don't understand when I read the Bible myself mm -hmm. um, is uh, some verses where Jesus Himself speak. Uh, refers to God, like for mm. example, uh, God sent me the Son. I I don't I, I don't get that. Maybe you can give me a explanation or. First of all, you know, the second Jesus he said the Father sent me. That's mean he is confirming that he is a Son. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. by by saying that statement, he is just confirming that I'm divine, the same as the Father. The difference is, you know, when you see in front of you a person who is a human, like if you let us say today, 2021, if I come to you and I say to you that I'm God and I look like a man and you would think I'm crazy, correct? Yes. What do, what, what do you mean you are God, you know? And then you say to me, well, the, what you see I do is what my father gave me. So now he is trying to explain to you, yes, you see a man, but look what I can do. I do what the father can do. So when Jesus, okay, okay. So when Jesus he uh, he speak about himself as the son, even he called himself the son of a man. But all of us we knew that we Christians we don't believe that Jesus is son of no man. Son of man mm -hmm. is the son who is coming in the flesh of a man. All right. So mm -hmm. the father he sent his son to be what. To be the savior of the world so in the beginning it was the word if you go to the book of john chapter number one verse number one in the beginning it was the word and what is that word the word is god he, this is the word the word itself is god and then in verse number 14 it says that word became a flesh so when the jews they were saying mm -hmm. you know they were speaking to uh, uh, to jesus and jesus he is explaining to them who is he the Jews are kind of confused how he is a man and yet he is saying what he's saying like they said to him mm -hmm. you know uh, who who are you know they they, they, they want to kill him they said we are not you know going to kill you for a sin you for like because of the bad work you do but for claiming to be God so the Jews, the same as you now, they see a person who is a human, <clears throat> yet he is doing and he is saying, not only saying, <coughs> let me get, get some water, uh, because I can say, you know, I, I can say, I can say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a Christ, but I, I have to do what Christ can do. That yeah, makes sense. <clears throat> All right. So if I cannot do what Christ can do, then I am no Christ for sure. Mm -hmm. If you go to John chapter 10, <clears throat> and let me put the verses for you so you can read with me in the screen. Jesus, he introduced himself and he said it clearly that I am the good shepherd. In, in uh, uh, Once a person came to Jesus, says to him, you are good. And then Jesus, he said to him, "How we, why you call me good when only God is good? which saying to him, how you know I'm God? And here Jesus again, he is saying the word which should nobody say, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. As the father knows me, even so know, the, know I the father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Here we see the Muslim, they say that Jesus was destiny to die. That's a lie. Jesus, he said, I, lie, I lay down myself, and nobody take it from me and other sheep i have you know etc so he's talking about other places where because he came to the nation of israel and then he says uh, no man take it from me but i lay down myself i have the power to lay it down and i have the power to take it again 
which means I can give my life, I can take it back. What life is talking about? The life of the flesh. So this is God saying the body in the front of you is a body. I can resurrect. The same I can let it die. For God never die anyway. The flesh die. This is the commandment I have received from my father. And now you will say, okay, we'll see. He's saying I received commandment from my father. But we believe in, in the Trinity, and I think you know that, right? Yeah, I know okay. that, but I still don't understand that, but that's another topic. Yeah. So, no, the Trinity is very simple. You know, I mean, okay. uh, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I use material, which is not really fit for, 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 uh, uh, for what we believe. But I try to make it simple, you know, because some, you know, we, we have some people here, they are, you know, some, they call, they, they are like Taliban Christians, you know. So if you say something, they will say, <laughs> yeah, like they, we have Taliban too, you know. So if you say, Jesus like the sun, you say, you see, here we go. He's saying Jesus is the sun, you know, they, they, we have some, you know, silly people, you know. So let us think about it this way. Uh, you look at the sun in the sky, it's a star, correct? Yes. Okay. And the star is burning. Is a star full of uh, gas and, and fire, etc. And then from the star, we receive light, correct? Correct. And when we receive the light, there is a heat came with the light. True? <laughs> yeah, true. Okay. Trinity, the Father is in heaven. His light is in okay. earth, and that is Jesus. And the heat we feel is the Holy Spirit, which is something we feel, but we don't see. Wow, uh, I get it. Wow. So, okay. so this is, Very simple. if a star can do that, can God do that? Think about it. Of course you can. Right. Of course you can. So I'm not saying this is how the Trinity is. I'm just giving you an example how we can get it close to understand, mm -hmm. you know, because you are not a Christian. Yeah. So I have to explain it to you in an easy way. In the same time, uh, as long as we believe that he is God, and God can do anything, so why it's impossible for God to be three person, yet one person, or one 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 in the same time? Is that, I mean, here we go, the sun is one star, but it has a three in the same time. Heat, light, and the star there. Yeah. So if this is, can happen for a simple, I mean, a, a, a star, and we believe it's God who created the star. So the second we say Almighty, uh, you know, when the Muslim they say, <laughs> it's not, it's not, uh, it's not a fit for God. Who are you who to tell what is fit for God, or what? Are you going to design God as you wish? I can say now to the Muslims, will you say that Allah He have a foot? It's not foot for a fit for Allah to why Allah have a foot. Why Allah have two hands? Is it fit for Allah to have a, a, a two two right hands? Is it fit for Allah to have a foot? Why he is playing soccer? So, in one hand, they refuse that God can be a man as Jesus, and they say that is not fit for God. In the same time, they believe that their God have a foot, God have legs. The God, he have a shin. The God, he have a hands. He have five fingers. So, is it fit for God, his name is Allah, to have five fingers in each hand? And then they say, our God, nothing like him. So, how you say nothing like him, but yet he have five fingers? You see, sim yeah, I understand. Sim similarity, similarity is, either you compare him as unique, and that will make him God or he is not unique so what is unique about Allah the Muslim they refuse Jesus because that will not make him unique why because there is many men <laughs> but the same we can take Allah will come to them in a shape of a of a, 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 a person we do not know how he looked like according to the hadith and then how the Muslim they discover him or recognize him is it from his shin so Allah himself he have shape so why you Muslims you refuse that God he can be a person a man 
you asked the Muslim, they said to you, the Holy Spirit became a man. And they say this is Jibreel. How it is a spirit and became a man? They say nothing is impossible for God. <laughs> so it's not impossible for you, it's impossible for us. So here there is mm -hmm. double standard. In the same time, because you are an ex-Muslim already, you have to, mm -hmm. you know, you, you have to understand that the second you believe or you want to believe that there is someone we call him Almighty, then Almighty, mm -hmm. it's mean the, he have the might, right? Yeah, he have the, he have the ability, and as long you are saying he have the ability, so how you are questioning how he can be? Yeah, true. Right, and this is here. Like if you go in the Quran, uh, when the Quran says how Allah can have a son. Hmm. How Allah can have a son when he have no girlfriend? That alone is enough. To prove, yeah, that alone is enough to prove that Islam is a false religion, because if yeah. Allah is confirming that's impossible for him to have a son without having a wife, that means he is not Almighty. For Almighty, he do not need a wife in order to have a son. And that confirmed too that the God of Islam, he do not even understand what Christianity is. We know that is an answer you say to Christians if they believe that God, he have a wife, her name is Mary. And they step together and they have a son, his name is Jesus. But we don't believe in such a thing. We believe that Mary, she gave birth without knowing any man. And actually the funny is that the Quran itself says, the same. So how you say the same and then you say such an excuse that Allah have no son because he have no girlfriend. Do Allah need a son to be no, produced don't. from uh, uh, from a woman? If he is a he is God, he can say, I want to take a son. I have a son. Okay, no problem. Who is going to say no? <laughs> Who is going to say, hey, I will kill you if you do that, you know? So here you see uh, here you see the double standard of this religion because it's very confused religion mm -hmm. and nothing there uh, makes sense and the, and what make it more funny uh, how Allah he questioned his ability you know how Allah he said to him how he can have a son I mean how can he so Allah questioning the ability of Allah <laughs> Yeah, you know? exactly. And I never thought of that one. Yeah, and the same time, Allah He keeps saying He to He. I mean, how crazy is that? How can He? So who is the one is talking? So every statement the Quran says, it doesn't make sense. It is silly. It is stupid, and I cannot find really any excuse to anyone to believe in this religion. If we go and find. Uh, uh, the interpretation of the Muslims in different verse Allah he said I'm showing you now chapter 6 verse 101 but if you go to different verse where Allah he says uh, if we like to have a son we will take him or sorry a wife we will take or a, a, a woman lahu, a woman from ourself okay ourself who The Muslim translate the word lahu as past time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Muslim translate ourself here as a presence. Why they change the translation? Because ourself is confusing. You change yeah. the translator, you will find a new, new Quran. Suddenly the Quran changed and became something new. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, I just changed the translator. Suddenly we have a new Quran. It says here, had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. wife or a son, we could surely take it from us. But how you Muslim, you keep saying to us, Allah, he say, we mean he is majestic. We, he is, uh, you know, like he's big, he's Allah. And now Allah mm -hmm. wanna take a wife from us, <laughs> us who? Yeah, no, but I, I, um, I agree with you on everything. I disagree on one thing, and that is 
uh, how can a person believe in this in this Islam in this crap? Uh, I can understand if um, someone is grown up in Islam. Uh, you know, for yourself, it's like Sami'ana wa Atana. We hear and we uh, we your your command is my your wish is my command. Right. Um, and like in example, my my parents, I, I've, I've my parents are born Muslim. Mm -hmm. I've born Muslim. My parents, I I really um, how do I say this? I thought of it. Thought of uh, thought of okay, yeah. It's difficult for me. This this conversation, this whole conversation, is difficult for me, Christian Prince. But um, I thought uh, thought about it a lot. Um, like how will, um, for example, uh, Jesus Christ judge my parents? Because I know my parents; they are good people, and um, everything my father is doing is my father is living for God, for Allah, hmm. and it's not because he's ignorant, because he don't want to accept uh, something else or don't. No, it's like um, when you're programmed in a way that it's like what I said, mm -hmm. you just can't, can't see uh, other vision. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure uh, God can make you see another vision, but <laughs> let, me, my, let me ask my question straight. How will um, Jesus judge about a person, about my father, who's very religious, who thinks he's, he's doing the... The, the 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 good thing um how uh, yeah how how okay. is jesus gonna judge all right you see uh, uh you were listening to us about about we talking about about destiny correct did i lose you i think i lost him Hello? Hello? Yeah, I think I lost you, right? I'm sorry, something, yeah, something went wrong, sorry. It's all right. You see, uh, with God, there's a free uh, free choice. And I cannot say to God, that's okay, <clears throat> you know, I am a good person. I don't hurt people. Uh, I don't do bad stuff. Uh, but this, this, is, this is according to who I am a good person. According to who? You see, when you say, according to Islam. yeah, according to Islam, he's a good person, but according to Islam, he have to hate me as a Christian. True. That is That's sin. True. That is sin. According to Islam, he have to hate you for you left Islam. Yeah, but he doesn't know. But yeah, it's true. Well, he, he this, then he is not following Allah. The Quran says clearly, you will not find one person who is a Muslim who is going to be in love or doing good with his people with his own family even if they are their father and their brothers I don't know if you know the verse if you go to Al Mujadila chapter 58 verse number 22 it says I don't know if you can see it with me in the screen it says you will, no, I can't. you will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day making a friendship with those who oppose Allah the translation here by the way is not accurate let us change the translator it says here mm. making friendship what friendship I mean later he will say even your sons what friendship this, this is friendship if for someone is not you know I mean not from the family he's talking about the family so friendship doesn't work you know you want to friend me and you're and you're my father and you're my brother or you're my mother that doesn't make sense so we change the translator and look what happened by changing the translator in a miraculous way a new words appear though will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who resist Allah and his messenger but a second ago you just told me that your dad he follow Islam right correct okay obviously he's not if he love you still he's not because the verse saying even though they were their father or their sons. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. And that is exactly your situation. Your father is a Muslim. You are an ex-Muslim. And he cannot, you will not find any. 
And here, by the way, this is a proof in Islam to be a false religion. Why? <laughs> because you just said you will not find. But we found one just now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did Muhammad, yeah. did Muhammad give false prophecy that you will not find? Either we will find, and he said to them, don't do that, or you will find, and those are not Muslim. He's saying you will not find. Yeah. Even if they are their father and their son. So my friend, it, you know, mm -hmm. with the Christ, Jesus, either you say to him, yeah, yeah, or nay, nay. He don't even, he don't want us to take oath because you have to be always truthful. So if your father don't want to accept Jesus, still he want to pray for the false God. Following the steps of Islam, then he is committing a big sin. Number one, the matter of Islam is against Jesus' teaching. Jihad, hating the kuffar, you know, hating anyone who don't believe in Allah, cursing them, praying for their death. You might think that your your father. I'm not. I'm not trying to insult your father. Don't take me wrong. I know. I'm talking about Islam. This is what Islam is. So, if your father is a person who pray five times a day, he recite Al Fatiha five times a day. And what will Fatiha saying? Don't make us that like the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. Verse number seven. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. you cannot even pray without cursing people. So how that will make me yeah. a good person? While Jesus but, said, forgive those who harm you, pray for those who curse you, love your enemy. So here you notice that you might think you are a good person by following Allah, but mm -hmm. if you check it out, you will find they are being, you know, I mean, you are following the devil without knowing. Yeah, I understand that and I fully agree with you. But um, I, I, I think personally, hmm. it's not the fault of my father. My father has grown up in Islam. It's like uh, from, from a young age, it's uh, uh, from his country, Morocco. Hmm. It's like uh, everywhere uh, you don't know something else. And even if you hear about Jesus from Christianity, you think shirk, and you can't even think further than that. Mm. It's like even haram to 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 to, um, to dive in matters to take a look uh, for yourself. It's like I mean, I what Atana, like I said. So okay. I don't think to personally, it's the, it's my father's fault because he didn't uh, are, is open to it for it. Mm. But I think. He's programmed in a way that now he's uh, uh, maybe I'm wrong and correct me if I'm wrong. No. I think he is now at the mo at a at the time that he is not able to um, to listen to something else because he's programmed in that way. And I think it's not his fault, but maybe I'm wrong. You see, it's not about just uh, I think you don't think. This is not an option for me and you to think because. Uh, he did your father heard that the, the Christian they have a book it's called the Bible he did yes all right did he hear that the Christian believed that Jesus is God I don't doubt that yes the Quran says that right okay yeah. so your father been taught that there is a book been taught there is a people been taught there is a, his name is a Christ and he is God according to the Christians. He mm -hmm. refusing to believe or even to read, that is a decision he made, not God he made for him. You know what I mean? It's like I send you a manual saying, okay, read this book if you want to know, like, okay, are you going to go to travel tomorrow to Morocco, driving all the way from Egypt? I will give you a, a map, you know? Did we lose you again? I think we lost him again. It's not working. It's all right. <clears throat> Is my voice coming, guys? Let us see if we can call him. Hello? Yeah, you hear me now? Yes, I hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. So, 
if you know your father he knew about the Christians we have a, a, we have TV now actually now he have no excuse at all because as long as you are from Morocco you know there's a there's a brother his name is Rashid correct I don't know about him no. okay you can search my brother Rashid right now and you will find his program which broadcast in many satellite TV stations and they can watch him in Morocco we have many programs in Arabic teaching about Christ and exposing Islam so I mean, God, he provided you today with tools which people before they don't have. So now it's the time that you cannot have an excuse. Because we mm -hmm. are in the yeah. age of communication where a person who live in Morocco, he can call me and talk to me right away and I live in America. Right. So it's not about I think my father is good. It's yeah. he is good or not for God, and yeah. he following Muhammad that alone is a crime because you believe in a, a person who taught evil, yeah, correct. He practiced evil and he encouraged evil. So, how I'm going to convince myself that I am good for God because I'm a fool with my respect to your father? Yeah, I know, you know? but in Islam, it's like forbidden to, um to read the Bible or uh, dive into it uh, only for da'wah purposes. Okay, no uh, problem. And but, I know my father. But still, he can read it. I mean, who is ho who's holding him? You know, he can go and he can, he can read it. I mean, it's a, it's not really a, a, big, a yeah. big problem, but it's a choice. I'm excuses for myself, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a, it is a choice you make, where you want to <laughs> be. And then you don't blame God for, okay, I was wrong. I did fool me. Muhammad did lie to me. Well, this is the whole idea is that God, he sent his only begotten son to save the world. From what? From deception. Jesus says clearly that the father of all lies is Satan. All lies, he is the father, which means anything is false. Anything is false. doesn't matter what kind of false it is. It is evil. So following false you are doing evil believing in false you are doing evil especially you've been warned and you've been taught jesus came two thousand years ago not six months ago so what is the excuse for somebody he heard of the christians even the muslim they come to your country and they occupy you you are not an arab and now they call you arab what moroccan have to do with the arab nothing <laughs> yeah, they come to your country. They kill. They they, they 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 kill the ruler, and they make themselves the the kings, and they rule you. And and now they stole your identity. So your your language is destroyed. Your ethnic is destroyed. And you cannot even dare to say I am not an Arab. This is what Islam does. Islam not only a cult. Islam is an ethnic cleansing cult. It cleans you. Either you became one of us, and you claim something is not true, or you are. Or you die. Or you die. So, uh, how that can be accepted by God? You know, this is if if you became subdued to the devil, this is your problem. The Christians, yeah. Yeah. The, the early Christians, they used to feed them to animals. I don't know if you heard that. No. And yet I they don't. They don't refuse to deny Jesus they put them in the front of the lion says you listen watch your friend here we go he's eating them alive deny Jesus we will let you go he never you know he refu they refused so this is what the Christians they suffer from during the Roman they used to be fed to the animals to the beast but yet they refuse to leave Christ so your father he heard uh, about the gospel he heard about Jesus. He even knew from the Quran how amazing the miracles of Jesus. I mean, isn't it those miracles alone is enough to make you curious to know what kind of a person he do all those things? Who is the person who can raise, yeah. he can raise people from death? Why he can raise people from death? I mean, what is the reason? Give me a reason. To show me a miracle? <laughs> I mean, if this is if this is how God, he you know, he show you a miracle, that means all the prophets should do miracles the same. Yeah, that's stupid. In Islam, there's nobody can raise people from death except Jesus. And mm -hmm. in Islam, only Jesus is in heaven. 
In Islam, only Jesus can tell you what you hide in your houses. In Islam, is only Jesus who have no father. I mean, okay. In Islam, is the only one who can make the blind see is Jesus. I mean, okay. One miracle is enough to make me believe that Jesus is a prophet. I do not need a person who is a walking machine miracle. I mean, this person, wherever he go, wherever he go, he is doing nothing but miracles. All of this to convince me that he's a prophet? Actually, those miracles, they walk in the opposite direction. If Allah, he, the Muslim, they say to us, Allah, he gave him those miracles and they give you false excuse, like they say to you. At that time, the Roman, they have advanced medical science. So God, he gave Jesus, uh, you know, miracle of science. What is science? Why Jesus was giving medicine? In the year 2000, 2021, can somebody put some mud in the eye of somebody, make him see? Can somebody order somebody who cannot walk, says walk? This he, Jesus, he did not open a clinic. He was not given recipe and food like the, the kufayt Muhammad, he ate the shish kebab for his private part. Jesus was ordering them to go. Go carry your bed and walk. So they could not explain why the Messiah, he had this huge Resume, if we can call it resume, of miracles. And Muhammad, he is bankrupt. So Jesus, my friend, he proved himself to your father, even in the book of the devil, Muhammad. So why your father will not listen and see how this person can be a man, and yet he can do all those things. If they refuse that God cannot be a man, then they have to refuse that man can do what God do. It's not logical to say to me that Jesus is just a man, yet he can do what he did. How Jesus, he told me, what I hide in my houses, that's mean he knew the unseen. And the Muslims who says, the Quran says, uh, uh, you know, who knows the, 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 the unseen except Allah? Nobody. But the Quran says that Jesus, he can tell you what you hide in your houses. Right now, tell me, and I will tell you. So. Your father he knew and he have no excuse and now my friend you speaking to me you have no excuse too if you don't accept the Messiah So what do you think you don't want to accept the Messiah as I, Lord and Savior? Yeah, I already did I think but I didn't spoke it out Okay, you think you are accepting him in your heart, but you did not say it Yeah, definitely why we don't say it now? I will say it. What? What? <laughs> uh, say, I, I Jesus, my savior. I mean to that. I mean to that. Hallelujah. So, our friend here, he announced that he not only he rejected Islam and Muhammad and his evil teaching, but he accepted the Messiah as his Lord, as his savior. We are happy for you, my friend. And then, thank God, I took your call and I did not reject it because usually I talk only to Muslims. But I'm so happy to take you. Now I want to ask you. You accepted the Messiah as your savior. But do you know that mean that everything you ever have with Islam have to go out of your closet? You have to wash it out. Yeah. Yeah, but how? <laughs> Very simple. You know, you see, how... I, will, I will give you a sentence. I will give you a sentence from a Christ. And then you will see how easy things will go. Love okay. your enemy. If you learn how to love your enemy, you will be a happy person. You will forgive and you will be Christian immediately. Because by practicing one sentence, you do not need to be a scholar in a book. One sentence of Christ's teaching. You are getting so close to God. So, from now on, you don't hate anyone. You don't hate the Muslims. You shall not hate them. Not like the Quran, chapter 58, verse number 22 says, oh, if they are, etc., don't be, don't love them. No, you love them. You pray for them. You love the Muslims. You love the Hindus. You love the Jews. You love the Christians. You love everybody. If you can practice that, my friend, you are a new person. You are a new creation. And then everything will go and will become so easy. And that will flush all the garbage of Muhammad out of our brain. Love your enemy. Because that sentence is against Islam 1 million percent. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah. Do you have any question for me? Anything else? Uh, from your opinion, uh, what are my next steps to, to take? Well, uh, I want you to read the Bible, you know, you can download it if you don't have a, a hard copy. And if you live like in the West, I don't know where you live, you don't need to say. Uh, you can, you know, you can get a copy from churches to give it to you for free. Uh, and you can download in your phone, you know, and, uh, you know, start to read and try to read. Uh, not like, uh, you know, the Muslims they do, you know, recite without understanding. Try to understand, uh, search, study. You know, be firm in knowledge, because believing, we don't. You know, like the Bible says, "Bless those who believe and did not see," but did not see the Messiah. But doesn't mean they did not see the truth. So, Christianity is the opposite of Islam. Is asking you to search and to study, read the books, search it, know it, learn it, and understand it, not recite it. And then you try your best to live according. To what you learned and for sure you know after you take all you know the, the, when you feel you are ready I encourage you to do uh, a baptism I don't know if you know what baptism is I heard about it but yeah mm, baptism, really. yeah baptism is actually a, a very blessing for a human being who believe in God first you will receive uh, I can't explain to you you will feel it when you do it you know you will feel like like you became a new person and uh, Muhammad actually, uh, he tried to copy the baptism and he put it in his Quran. He said the, he was the word Sibara. Who is the best person to do Sibara the, more than Allah? So because Muhammad, he could not find, he cannot answer why he don't even, okay. So if, 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 if you are following the same God uh, of Jesus as he claimed, how come you don't have baptism? Mm -hmm. Muhammad, he said, who can do better sibara than Allah? Who can do better baptism than, the, uh, than Allah? And Muhammad here actually is using uh, the Sabi and word for baptism because obviously uh, he is under the influence of the Sabian. So uh, 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 baptism is very important for you to confirm that you are serious about what you just said that you are truly a believer and you are joining the family of christ at the same time you will receive a gift from god by doing that even the messiah himself he did baptism all right all right so i, um, I advise you read the book when you feel ready and you know the, and the christian they will not just go baptize you right away just to let you know we don't do what muslim do go to the uh, go to the uh, you know, and do shahada, you have to to know what you are believing, what you are joining, and then they will do baptism for you. So don't be upset if they, okay. if they say to you, uh, you, you need to take your time and we will ask you questions and etc. Because the, we are not the same as the Muhammadan. Just say shahada and we don't care if you, you know, understand anything. Even say it in a language you don't understand, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I'm happy for you, my friend. And if you want me to take your family, if your father want to talk to me, if you speak English, I will be happy. Or maybe we can talk even in Arabic. If you like me to convince him. Yeah, thank you very much, Christian Prince. Uh, one last question, and after that, I think I got enough of your time. All right. Um, do I need to? Uh, can I keep my faith secret for my family or? Is that forbidden or? Well, you know, I, I cannot say to you, risk your life, but, uh, you know, the, the Lord, he said, uh, I mean, you see, when when one of the disciples of Jesus, they came to capture Jesus, and his disciple, he denied Jesus. He said, I don't know him. You know, he was afraid. I don't know him. He, he, he made himself, he did not know Jesus. But that for sure is a sin. However, I cannot tell you what you need to do. You do what you think is right for you. But Jesus, he ordered us to tell the truth always. Always. So you can keep your faith secretly. I don't know. Do you live in Morocco? No, in Ireland. Okay, so you don't need to hide it. Anyway. You know, why you want to hide it? <laughs> you don't live in, uh... the, you don't live in the land of, uh, of uh, you know, 
if, if, they, if you have to, go stay away from them. I mean, the country, all of Europe is in your hand. You don't have to stay next to people who don't want you. If they really love you, if, if you just say your father, he loves you, right? Yeah. Okay, so if he loves you, he loves you. Why he will hate you? Yeah. You know, if he really love you. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, if, he, if his love is conditions, would you be in a Muslim? Then he don't love you. You know, it's obvious. You know, and for me, I, yeah, that's true. But I, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, from my own experience, I have many people I don't talk to, even though supposedly they are family. I don't care for something is called family, unless I do my duty. Like you say, I have a father. Maybe he is ill. I will take care of him. But he is not. If he is not a believer, he is not going to influence me. So I like I will take care of him because he's my father. I will love him because he's my father. But if he's not a believer, I mean, I have nothing to do with him except doing my duty as a son. You know, I love him, I protect him, I take care of him if I if he need me. The same will go for you. You love him, even if he hate you. It's okay. But in the same time, if your father really love you, you know, love is not a condition. A person who love, a person, nothing will change that love. Unless it is a condition, which means it's fake. Yeah. If, if, his, yeah. if, if his hate became more than the love to you, because that means hate, is a winner you know what I mean if his hate yeah. against the Christians win well that's mean he is not the good person as you said to me before sorry to say that no yeah because the no, hate the, yeah because the hate is the winner you know so don't worry about what people will say and you know as long your life is safe etc you know go to the church and you know live your life as a Christian and just you know share share the gospel with people around you the truth and what and what if my uh, if the roof above my head depends on it you are a man find yourself <laughs> let me tell you something yeah when, when, I, when I was when I was uh, you know a kid my family they want me to study something in a school and I don't want it and then my dad he said to me if you do that I'm not going to give you a penny I said okay and that was since then Bye bye. <laughs> I'm a man, so what? I work. I know. I, I I will. You live in Europe, and there's a lot of. You are not like in a, in a, in, a, in a homeless country or etc. You can find a job. You can you can get yourself a, a you know a place and live your life. Be you know be independent, so nobody can control you. I'm not going to uh, you know. And the, and the Lord will open doors for you, my friend, because in this scenario, in this case, because of Him, you are losing the roof in the top of you. So he will get you something. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You know? Just All do right. just do what is right and don't let anyone control you. Never let anyone control you. Because you see, people who control you, they don't love you. If somebody loves his son, you do what you think is good for him and you tell him what is good. And then he makes decision. But the person wanna control you, even obviously. He don't want to practice love with you. So if they want to stop supporting you because you became a Christian, obviously you are not their son no more. So don't worry about them. You can find a job. And actually, I encourage you not to be dependent on anyone. You know, life is short to be under the control of people to tell me to tell me what to do and what not to do. As simple as that. Thank you very much, Christian Prince. May uh, God bless you, man. Thank you, my friend. I'm so happy for you that you accepted the Messiah. And we pray for people of Morocco and to your family especially. And I ask all the Christians who they are listening to pray to our friend here and his family to, you know, to keep the love between them and to make a Christ join their family, not to, not to be a reason for them to be divided. We pray that the Lord will open their heart and the Lord, he will invite them to, to accept the Christ. And even if they don't want to accept the Christ, still they love their son. A person who is good, he do what is good. As simple as that. God is good, my friend. And thank you for calling me. And may the Lord bless you. And we pray for you and your family. And in his name, everything we ask for will come to be true. And I believe truly that today you open a new way for you, new door. And the Lord, he says, knock at my door and I will open for you. So if you lose your house, you will find doors will open for you. 
Seek and I will be there. Work and I will be beside you. So take care of yourself and feel free to contact me. Call me if you have more questions. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Have a nice stream. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Well, we are glad that our friend here, our brother, you know, from Morocco, he accepted Christ. Actually, I was going to hang up on him when he said to me, I'm okay, but I said, okay, you know what? Let us see. Sound, there is something good. I have a feeling. So anyway, we are happy for him. May the Lord bless his life and his family and his parents, even if they refuse him. Never hate your parents. Be good, for God is good. All right? The, the, the one thing about, about Christ's teaching that with the Christ you always live different level of life your human humanity you know Christ he restored humanity inside us human being became a hate machine killing machine selfish machine I mean he became everything evil and no good nothing good in this person anymore and I'm talking about the human everyone think about himself and himself only everyone he wanted to have as much as he can between his hands brothers and sisters fighting over money the father he died suddenly became enemies fighting what over over pennies human being he lost his humanity with the Christ Christ he restored humanity on you he came to us as a human to show us that I can be human I'm not giving you a theory that you can be human and you can be good I will come as a human and I will be good and I will be holy and I will do what I say to you you should do so there's a God who sit in the balcony up they call him Allah he give you lectures about how to be good and there's God who come to us and he became one of us and he show us how to be good as he said to be even the Messiah in the cross he says forgive them father they don't know what they are doing imagine there is people they are putting you in a cross and this is not a sentence to say it is a lot of suffering and pain it's a cross it's a cross where people they suffer for hours and hours and even sometimes they stay for a long time depend how fast the bleeding is and if not that soldier, he hit maybe the Messiah. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean the, the the whole process make it faster for for the Messiah to die. But it can be a long process of pain. Yet the Messiah, when he is in that pain, he says, "Forgive them, Father." So imagine if the Messiah he was asking us to forgive others, love your enemy, and then in the cross he start cursing them. Instead, people shouting, kill him, kill him, his blood in our hand, kill him. I mean, so happy, so excited to, to see him suffering. Yet, he feels sorry for them. And he say, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. That's what the Messiah can do to your life. You will rest in peace, not in the grave. You will rest in peace when you are alive. Because love will bring peace to you. Hatred is a pure evil. Will kill you before it kill your enemy. Look at the Muslims. They are unhappy people. I never saw them happy. I'm talking about religious. Anything happened. It's conspiracy against us. I remember the Muslim, they, they, they make a video about a, a toy. A toy saying a sentence in English uh, from a movie. They spread the news that this toy saying, uh, you know, Aisha is a bad woman, whatever. I mean, conspiracy. Anything, anything you do is conspiracy. The God of Islam made people dance for killing people.
when Corona hit to China, Muslim Sheikh start saying that Allah he punished China. And now all the Muslim Middle East is, is closed down, shut down. And Egypt people are dying left and right. And nobody knows the numbers because as you know, in the Middle East, everything is upside down, you know. If one million died, they say two, or two people die. We will never be rejoicing for the death of others, for something bad happened to others, for this is not from the good God. When you start dancing in the street, giving sweet, celebrating the death of others, that's mean the evil into your heart. And you became part of it. When tsunami hit Indonesia, if you remember, Muslims in chat rooms, they start saying, they open chat rooms, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah, he punished the kuffar. Why? Because they heard the news that people from Australia and people, they die, but the majority of people who died, they were Indonesian. Even they fabricated graphic saying that the word Allah Akbar or Allah was found in the tsunami. Let me find you the the graphic. <laughs> Here we go. Look at this. Allah. Do you see Allah? Allah. This is Allah. Look, look. And they start celebrating. And then when they heard the news that maybe 90 nine percent of those who died they were Muslims and suddenly they changed their mind right uh, anyway you know uh, at the end of the day Hate maybe can win about like a, a win a fight, you know, like somebody kills somebody because of hate. But at the end of the day, the real loser is the killer. Because we believe in God and we believe in justice. Those who commit crimes, they will pay for it. No matter who and when. It's just a it's just a matter of time. So don't put hate in your heart. God is there and everyone will get what he deserves. Muslims, they have obsession with the crazy stuff, you know, and this is the only way, uh, you know, to, to pr promote the faith because there's nothing there. Islam is an empty cult. So they start saying, a tree is praying to Allah. A dog is praying to Allah. A rooster is praying to Allah. Tree is bowing down to Allah. Let me show you. And then they bring you a shake and he take a picture with it. And look, they have a sign in the back. The Abdul religion. Look at this one too. This tree is praying to Allah. I opened the watermelon, I found the name Allah. Oh, look at this tree too. This one is praying to Allah too. Oh, this one too. Anything is bending over is a praying to Allah.
uh, Vogo CP said before he is not an ex-Muslim are you asking me no I'm not an ex-Muslim I'm too smart to be a Muslim for a second like this person he's a smart person but he is born in a Muslim family so it's not his fault but to become a Muslim you have to be certified fool I mean at least in the moment you have to be under drugs how in the world anyone can convert to Islam anyway you tell me how you can believe that there is a God he said, you know, he says, if you say Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, 100 times, you go to heaven. I mean, this, you must be a fool. Something wrong with your head. Somebody hit you in your head. Some, something happened to you. Whoever dies with the last word saying, there is only worthy of worship, but Allah, he will enter paradise. So why you pray? Just say it before you die, you idiot. Why you want to go to the mosque? And why you want to do jihad? Just before you die, put your finger, give a finger to Allah and say to him, Allah, la ilaha illallah, and that's it. What kind of religion this religion is? Oh, there, there is there is something wrong. And then this religion claim that it teach good manner. So if you see Christians and Jews in the streets spit in their face and force them to walk in the sewage, for this is the good manner of Allah, and that will make you a good person. It's in the front of you. And then you have to, if you became a Muslim, you have to accept the science of the Prophet Muhammad. He knew where the sun set as an example. The sun set in a spring of muddy water, hot water. True, I saw it myself too. Muhammad too, he knew how the baby is made. Why the baby will be a boy or a girl? Why he will look like the father or the mother? Very simple. The one who comes first, the baby will look like him or her. You do not need to go to school to learn. Prophet Muhammad, he is Dr. Muhammad. So when somebody believe and he convert to Islam, I don't know, in the year of 2021, or 20, I mean, in the, in the age of the internet, where you can get one million answer in a second, you can read, you can, you can learn languages. How in the world people, they can believe in such a garbage? You tell me. Dr. Muhammad is teaching us science. And by the way, this is the only thing now encouraging me to get married because I was afraid I get married and then my son look like me, which is disgusting. But now by the help of Allah Prophet and Allah, because Allah is the one who told him that. Now I know exactly how to look to make the child look like the mother. I will not have orgasm first. Very simple. I will never have orgasm actually. I mean, that's it. Because as you see, you have orgasm first. The, the child will look like you. And you don't want that to happen to your son. This way you will have only girls. They will look like their mother. So I advise you to marry a good woman, you know, good looking woman, and she always have orgasm first. Always, never do a mistake like that. You, 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 okay, you have orgasm first, and he is now like, I have orgasm first, and then my son, he's born, he looked like me. He will shoot me right away. The second he see the mirror, he will get the gun, he will shoot me. He will say, what you did to me? You don't want to die by the hand of your son because you made him look like you. That's scary, you know. I, mean, I don't want to even think about it. That's bad. Even the city, they forbid me from fishing in the lake because they said the lake, the, the fish are dying. I go there, the fish, they start coming in the water. Like, you know, they, and they said to me, they are suffocated. Have you ever heard of a fish suffocated in the water? 
Yeah, you know. So now I know, brother, just don't have orgasm first. Dr. Muhammad, he is the, the best man. He knows everything. Allah and his prophet knows best. And what make it more funny, that the Muslim, they say Allah and his prophet knows best. They associate the knowledge of their God with the knowledge of Dr. Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, he knew everything. Where the sunset, Prophet? The Prophet, he will tell you where the sunset. I mean, it's not hard for the Prophet to tell you. It might be hard to any dif dif different Prophet, but not to Muhammad. The sun every day go under the throne of Allah and ask for permission to come back. And for sure, Allah and his messenger know best. Who dare to question the stupidity? Nobody. <clears throat> anyway, today we made a different time for those people who live in Europe. So we were like, you know, as you see, I do at night, I do in the morning in my time. Uh, like it's going to be morning in uh, Indonesian time sometime. So we are switching time. So all people from everywhere, they can join us and they can be part of our live broadcast. I will stop in here. Otherwise, uh, this conversation will go forever and we will never finish. But as we see, Muhammad, following Muhammad is like fooling yourself. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet? He want to commit suicide. And he is not convinced that he's a prophet. And then he climbed the mountain. And then the angel wait until he arrived to the top of the mountain. And then he hold Muhammad from his panty. And he said to him, Muhammad Khabibi. Khabibi Muhammad. Don't do it. Muhammad, don't do it. Okay? I mean, have you ever heard of a story like this? A prophet of God. He want to commit suicide because he himself don't believe himself that to be a prophet. Muhammad don't believe himself to be a prophet. So how I will believe in him? But after a few days, Waraka died and the divine inspiration was also post. Why the divine inspiration have to do what they do with Waraka? Because Waraka is the one who was making Quran for him. For a while, the prophet became so sad. So we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountain. And every time he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself down. Jibreel, Jibreel would appear before him and say, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, you are indeed Allah Messenger Khabibi. In truth, Khabibi. Whereupon this, his heart would become quiet and he would calm down and he would return home. I mean, you want me to believe that this guy is a prophet? He himself don't believe it. And what make it more funny, few days after Muhammad, he come and he want to do the same thing. Like, What's wrong with you, Muhammad? He just told you, the angel, he hold you from your panty. Don't do it. And what make it more extreme funny, that the angels don't come to Muhammad before he climbed the mountain. I mean, come on, have mercy in this poor Muhammad. You wait for him until he arrived to the top of the mountain. And now you come to him, says, Muhammad, Habibi, don't do it, Muhammad. Why you don't do it to him? Why you don't come to him before he leave the house? I think, I think Jibreel, he was trying to make Muhammad lose weight. I mean, the poor guy, he climbed the mountain. Okay, and Jibreel is walking with him. Okay, Muhammad, keep going. Okay. And now Muhammad in the top of the mountain, and almost he was like, oh, he want to fly. And then Jibreel suddenly, don't stop, 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 don't do it. Like, come on, tell him the same word you say to him in the top of the mountain before he climbed the mountain. Shame on you. And then, whenever period of the coming inspiration used to become long, he would do as before. What a story. Hey, Muhammad. Habibi, Muhammad, where are you going? I want to commit suicide. Why? Because the inspiration is not coming. Huh? I have delivery today coming from Amazon. <laughs> so, shall I commit suicide? Because supposedly it had to come yesterday. 
I mean, what kind of a prophet this prophet is? The delivery is late. I'm going to go to the top of the mountain to commit suicide. Muhammad Khabibi, don't do that. What's wrong with you? So what if it's late? Allah, it's up to him. Allah, he don't want to send you. The, he have no delivery. He have no pizza for you. This is God. And this is his prophet. And please, next time, Jibreel, for the sake of Allah, Shin, before Muhammad, next time, go to the top of the mountain, tell him in his door, before he leave his door. I mean, come on. Have mercy in Muhammad, climbing the mountain all the way up, and then you tell him. Why you don't hold him? Why you don't hide his shoes so he cannot climb the mountain before he go? You know he's going to commit suicide. Hide his shoes. Muhammad, he will go like, where's my shoes? Where's my shoes? By the time, you know, uh, he give up not finding his shoes, he will give up uh, suicide because he will not climb the mountain without his shoes. Oh, boy. Anyway. Uh... <clears throat> I don't know, sometimes I think about this story a different way. I think the reason behind Muhammad trying to commit suicide is all the wives he had, man. I mean, imagine. But this is supposedly before he have all those wives. But maybe this story, you know, Muslim stories, is, uh, the history is messed up. Maybe after Muhammad, he got 13 mother-in-law, he decided to commit suicide. I mean, it makes sense then. That, that can make sense. You have 13 mother-in-law. And 13 wives, they need iPhone. And all of them, they want you to buy beef and shish kebab. What you will do? You commit suicide. Muhammad is trying to find solution. That makes sense. 13 mother-in-law. But this story happened before Muhammad had 13 mother-in-law. So I cannot find an excuse to him. Sorry. Next time, maybe. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Download my video. Share it with your friends. You can cut it pieces and uh, <clears throat> make it pizza as you wish. Just share the truth and the truth will set you free. Until we see you soon again, I say may the Lord bless you all. And don't forget to pray to our friend who accepted Christ in his heart today and by his mouth and his lips. And he denounced the devil and he accepted the Messiah. Pray for him to his family. So they can be, you know, they can stay in harmony. They love him and he loved them. And the Lord will open door for this gentleman so he can be independent and nobody can force him to believe in something is not right. Thank you. God bless you and see you soon again. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet. And if you are already, don't forget to answer subscribe to enjoy subscription again, according to the wisdom of Allah. Thank you very much.